10 Most Horrifying Things Found in Ancient Tombs What if you work as an archaeologist and one day you dig up some ancient tomb and see a lady's skeleton that has some horrifying face? What are you going to do then? Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, and today we are back with another thrilling yet exciting episode. In today's episode of the Top 10, we'll reveal some of the horrific things uncovered in ancient tombs. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon, never to miss an update. For the time being, let's see what's waiting for us at number 10. Number 10. Biscuit Beetles At number 10, we have the worst nightmare for those of you who are afraid of bugs. You might be surprised to know that mummies aren't the only thing the tombs can preserve. Still, unfortunately, some 3,000-year-old insects can also be preserved. A loaf of funerary bread was discovered inside the tomb of an ancient criminal. Food was frequently left inside ancient Egyptian tombs as a symbol meant to feed the deceased in the afterlife. While the deceased weren't the only ones eating, a swarm of biscuit bugs was discovered inside the bread. So, would you be terrified by the bugs or mummy first? Of course, those disgusting bugs! Number 9. Tomb of Tamies At spot 9, we have the Tomb of Tamies. It was when archaeologists were searching the Tomb of Thomas, a high-ranking Egyptian official a few years ago. They discovered jars in the tomb that contained things they weren't able to identify. Additionally, investigations revealed that this material was created 3,200 years ago. And guess what it was? Cheese! The material investigated is perhaps the most ancient archaeological solid residue of cheese ever found to date, said Dr. Enrico Greco of the University of Catania, who worked with colleagues from Cairo University in Egypt on this tomb. Honestly, just think how mighty cheese tastes when it's older than 3,000 years. Ugh, gross. We can't even imagine that. Number 8. Screaming Lady On spot 8, we have a screaming lady. Back then, archaeologists discovered a tomb dating to the King period. However, they were not aware that this was not some ordinary tomb. As they uncovered the tomb, they found a skeleton belonging to a lady. But they weren't surprised to uncover the skeleton, but the condition in which she was discovered was shocking. Her skin had turned charcoal black, and she had a frightening expression on her face, her lips gaping open as if she had been screaming. Besides, there were scratch marks on the interior, which she had left. Further investigation revealed that this woman may have had a difficult birth and passed out during childbirth, and there are possibilities that her family mistook her death and buried her alive. Thankfully, the modern eras made giving birth a lot easier than those ancient times. Number 7. The Tomb of Sunken Skulls At number 7, we have yet another tomb that is called the Tomb of Sunken Skulls. In 2009, archaeologists in Sweden were unearthing the bottom of a prehistoric dry lake bed when they discovered the foundations of a stone structure, and fellows were discussing a tomb that was discovered at the bottom of a lake. Further digs gave the typical suspects, such as animal bones, stone tools, and the like. Still, they also discovered the skulls of 10 individuals, estimated to have lived 8,000 years ago. Now, apart from these 10 skulls, the 11th one was the most unusual of all. When they had a deep inspection, they found the 11th skull buried deep within the sand. When this skull was examined thoroughly, it was found that bits of another skull had been purposefully stuck inside it. Another terrifying thing about these skulls was that almost all of the skulls were missing their jaws. There are several ideas as to why the skulls were discovered here. Some speculated that the place was used for secondary graves, while others speculated that the tomb belonged to enemies killed in battle. Number 6. The Knife-Armed Man At number 6, we have the Knife-Armed Man. In 2018, archaeologists were digging a cemetery in northern Italy between 1200 and 1400 years old. As they were working, they discovered something horrible, which led us to learn a fascinating story about someone who lived in ancient times. An archaeologist found the remains of a guy inside this cemetery. Now, you might be thinking there were a lot of bodies there, and how was he any different from the others? What made him distinct from the others was that he had a knife blade prosthetic arm. Now, he wasn't holding a knife in his arm, but his actual arm had been amputated via blunt force trauma and replaced with a knife. All these findings were according to an additional study of his bones. 
On a side note, we're curious how the man survived. The wounds would have killed you all those years ago, if not from the blood loss, then from infection, because this was before antibiotics. So can we have a new superhero character called the Knife Man? <laughs> Just kidding. Number 5. Ancient Curse At number 5, we have the Ancient Curse. And honestly, this curse sounds as if it was literally cast from within a tomb. Okay, maybe that was a stretch, but there was a curse discovered on the interior of this tomb. So, the tomb we're talking about is known as the Tomb of Egg Mehor. He was known as a pharaoh's official who might have lived around 4,000 years ago during Egypt's Sixth Dynasty. His tomb is in an above-ground rectangular box-shaped tomb. While inspection, a curse inscription inside the tomb warned anyone who said to damage it. Moreover, the trespassers are warned of his knowledge of spells and hidden magic and the terror of seeing ghosts. Number 4. The Tomb of Hatshepsut You might be well aware of the famous name Hatshepsut. She was the second historically proven female pharaoh and the fifth pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty. She was a fascinating lady, but since we're talking about tombs, let's jump to when hers was discovered. Even though there were no such artifacts in her tomb when the investigation started, some of the things were unbelievably shocking. They discovered benzoprane carcinogenic skin ointment on the pharaoh, which has caused her bone cancer. There are chances that she poisoned herself accidentally while attempting to calm her skin. Poor soul. Number 3. Silver Sumerian Harp At number 3, we have the Silver Sumerian Harp. Now, this is something that was discovered in an ancient Sumerian royal tomb. You gotta be thinking, how can a harp be terrifying? And somehow we agree with you as well. And honestly speaking, this harp was not terrifying, but the situation in which it was discovered was. And not only the harp, but also the musician who was playing it, as well as a complete company of musicians, servants and warriors, were all imprisoned in this tomb while doing their duties. Many of them were dressed in formal costumes and had exquisite jewelry. It seems like they were buried while performing for their master or something. And because so many bodies were discovered at once in the same region, it is known as the Death Pit. Number 2. Black Granite Sarcophagus At number 2, we have the Black Granite Sarcophagus. It was in 2018 when archaeologists found a weird sort of sarcophagus in Alexandria, Egypt. Having a weird grayish-black color, it was found that this sarcophagus dated around 2,000 years ago. Now, everyone was curious as to what this mysterious box contained. However, the only way was to open it up and let the beans spill. After so many efforts, the coffin was opened and it gave out some odd smell. The archaeologists found that there was some gunky sewage water behind that odd smell. And in the fluid, there were the bones of three people. And unfortunately, as they were not preserved, their skulls were the only thing that remained intact. Speculations concluded that these skulls belonged to some soldiers from the ancient times of pharaohs. One of them had a mark of an arrow in the skull. Number 1. Cats To round up today's episode, we have cats at number 1. Archaeologists were digging up a 4,500-year-old tomb in Cairo in 2018. The researchers discovered hundreds of mummified cats within this tomb, in addition to 100 gilded wooden cats and a bronze figure of Bastet, the goddess of cats. You gotta be thinking, how did so many cats' mummies end up in the tomb? So it's believed that humans highly admired cats in ancient Egyptian civilization. And as a matter of fact, they weren't worshipped or anything like that, but they were regarded as divine. Researchers concluded that the tomb in which these cats were discovered dates back to the former kingdom's fifth dynasty. While the cat's appearance might be a bit terrifying, the discovery was indeed fascinating. So which of the stories was the most terrifying one? Have you ever been to any of these ancient places? Do share with us in the comment section below. For now, we have to take leave and we'll see you soon with another thrilling episode. Till then, take care and never try to dig out any of this stuff around you unless you're prepared to have nightmares. Bye-bye.